All right. Thanks so much, Matt. We have, of course, Chef Tom Hello. from the Irishman, also yoga master. Uh, not quite yoga. <laughs> not quite yoga. You know, I just went swing dancing with my girlfriend the other day. That was a big concession for me. So, uh, you know, it's you know what they say. yoga. She's trying, but I don't know. You know, I'm not sure if I'm designed to be in some of those uh, positions. You know, it's... <laughs> It might here's, be tough for me to get back up. Here's swing dance concession. Right. Here's engagement. You're you know, next I'm definitely step. right. It's definitely moving in that direction. So I figured you might be somewhat encouraged by this news. I, you know. You know what? And thank you so much for sharing. Well, I figured I'd throw it out there. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> All right, we are making a prime rib. Yes. Well, I'm, a little prime rib. We have some uh, that we've cooked off, and I'm going to use it for a. We're going to be using it for the skillet, which is a Saturday and Sunday uh, option. The so, Irish what is the name of the dish? It is a prime rib skillet. It's a prime rib skillet. Yeah. So and you we're, have the prime rib the here. prime rib we've cooked off a little bit. I'm going to chop it up uh, with some onions, some peppers. Uh, we're gonna, I've boiled off some potatoes. I've already chopped them, boiled them. I'm letting those cool right now. We're going to fry those off. And then I just have some mushrooms, uh, some spinach, a little bit of sour cream, and some provolone cheese. And basically, we're going to take the uh, fried off onions, kind of saute those off, put those in the bottom of the skillet, and then kind of top it with the meat and all the, all the goodness. All right, I have a cheater question. What's that? Well, because I have no idea how to make prime rib. You were telling me before how to make it so that the red is, or the middle is red, just like it's supposed to be. But can you buy it from, like, you know, Wegmans or Tops or something and then make this dish? Yeah. If, I mean, you, if, if you can't do that? Yeah, you can buy probably even a smaller portion of prime rib, perhaps, and that would be easier to cook, like just a small piece. I mean, this would also work with roast, I mean, probably would work with roast beef as well. Oh. If you want, if you have them slice the roast beef a little bit, a little bit thicker than you normally would, if you just request that at the deli, you could probably do something similar. Uh, we just are featuring the prime rib this weekend. So Excellent. this is just working for us, but you have options. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Amelia is going to be tag teaming, so she'll be in with you uh, in the next segment. For now, though, we're going to go to our web producer, Emily Linehan. What are you talking about, Em? Welcome back. We're with Chef Tom, as we always are on Friday. Always a good Friday. <laughs> and we're making our prime rib skillet. Yes. Uh, I've basically just got some of the prime rib here. I'm just starting to chop up. Um, I've already got my onions chopped up, my peppers, my mushrooms, and... Uh, basically, we're just going to start sautéing everything with the potatoes and that everything. Like yummy prime rib. Yes, it's uh, nice me medium rare there. That's that's probably the way I'd prefer my prime rib. But we're going to cook it. I don't know. Do you, you like it a little more? Actually, you don't get to eat, you don't get to eat this anyway. No, I, it doesn't well, matter. I mean, no, I think Victoria, Victoria likes, likes it. More mid well. Like, well done. Yeah. We're cooking a little bit more for it. <laughs> no, I missed it. What is this sauce? Is it like an au jus? Or? Yeah, that's a Guinness au jus. Okay. Um, I'm going to use that. I use that in the second helping, and I might use that to cook the, the beef for Victoria a little bit. You know, Yummy. We can take a medium rare piece like this, just dip it in there for a few seconds, and it will kind of cook it through to medium Okay, well, and I so. don't know if I said, but this is going to be featured at the Irishman this weekend. Yes. So if you're seeing it now, you want to go there, sit out That's on right. the patio. This Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be featuring the skillet, and, of course, our full brunch menu, it's uh, pretty popular, so... We That's encourage nice. everyone to come out. The weather going to be good this uh, this we weekend. The weather is going to be good, especially oh. on Saturday. Ooh, so you just, know it's going to be a busy, just busy what I weekend. To hear. Yes, busy weekend. <laughs> Excellent, beautiful. And, and you know, I was at the Irishman last night. Music on Maine. Melina and I were there. Yes. It was. It's so pleasant out there. Uh, you know, I got to actually do that for the first time. I believe it was last week for three of a kind, and it is very fun to sit out there and just. It's, it's very enjoyable, nice. yes, right? It's very Great nice evening. Out there. Yep. Okay, so we're going to um, continue cooking this in our next cooking segment. We're going to send things to break right now. Coming up next, Victoria will have the hot sauce, and of course later in the show we'll get back into the kitchen with Chef Tom. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Thanks, Melina. We're back here with Chef Tom every Friday. <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day on Friday. That's a good thing, though. We're making um, our prime rib. Prime yeah. rib skillet. Yes. Okay, in the skillet. Yes. And Think, fancy that. <laughs> I'm just gonna start sauteing everything off here. Okay. This down a little bit. Uh, we have our onions, obviously our peppers here, and want to start with the onion. Want to start with the onions and the garlic to try to try to cut some of the some of the acid out of there. You know, cook yeah. that down. We'll start a little garlic here. Okay. Try to turn this as high as possible without making, without sounding like it. When you're at the grocery store and you pick out a prime rib, what should it look like? Like marbling? I don't know. I'm well, just throwing that. You know, we always cook it with a out there. <laughs> we throw, we always cook it with a little bit of fat on there because you want to get the flavor, and then you can always, you know, trim the fat off when okay. you're actually carving the prime rib. Okay. And it's important, I think, to have a little. I mean, I always say there's, a, you know, you should have a little bit of, a little bit of fat, a little bit of, of marbleization on there, but, you know, it's kind of. It's a fine line. It's a fine line. It's your personal preference. Okay. Okay. Kind of like a burger. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to this burger because this. Sounds crank like a spaceship's getting yeah, ready yeah, to lift off. So start sauteing here once <laughs> this gets going and then 
everything will uh, get rolling okay, here. Okay, like medium high heat? Yeah. Medium high heat. I'm at, as you can see, I have the prime rib I've already chopped off. We're going to saute everything here. Okay. Hopefully. And you can get this at the restaurant. Also, every Thursday in Williamsville, there's music on Main. And last night, the music happened to be at the Irishman. And, you know, it's something great to do on a Thursday night. Family friendly, nice family atmosphere mm -hmm. down Every, on Main Street. Everyone enjoys the patio. Yeah, the music on Main's a lot of fun. A lot of people have been coming out for that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm sure you had a good time there last night. It was, was a beautiful, beautiful evening. Beautiful evening, nice. Yeah, we hoped you weren't cooking inside. No, no, I happened to luck out and be off yesterday, there you though. Go. So, yeah, but uh, everyone else was back there making it happen. So, as you can see, I'm uh, just starting to saute everything off here. Okay. Try to speed it along here. And this will go pretty quick. Yes, this should. I mean, this doesn't take long here once we cook down the onions and everything. Okay. And depending on how rare you want the, I mean, as I said, you can use roast beef. You could substitute that if you want to cook that off. You okay. Know, depending on how rare you want it, you know, it depends on what time you want to throw it in here. I'm going to probably, I mean, you said a little, you like it a little more medium rare. That's. We'll wait till the we'll end. Be, we'll make it for everyone. All right. Well, we'll make it. I'll wait, I'll wait a little bit. A little. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. We have some midwell. <laughs> I have a little bit midwell as well. So, you know. Okay. Right. Okay. And. Basically, I will add this now just to just to start everything. Saute this off. How was Father's Day? Father's Day was good. Yeah. Uh, yep. Did you cook for your dad? Did you follow through on that promise? Uh, holding you to yeah, holding Well, you we to went out to eat. We went out to eat okay. the night before, oh, and okay. I had to work on Sunday, so that was the best. Oh, I, that okay. was the best now I could an, do. For now him. an excuse. No, yeah, I'm just well, kidding. Right, right. I didn't cook for my dad either, but he's in Maryland, so that would be kind well, of. Well, you have. A, yeah, you actually have an excuse. <laughs> but, uh, I was at the restaurant, so you know he could have. He could have come he in. He could have come, in. come right, in. I don't okay. want to throw that on him. But, yeah. <laughs> and as you can see here, I'm just kind of sauteing all this off. Okay. Uh, I have my potatoes here that I've already fried off and cooked. These are already warm. Okay. So I'm, oh, thank you there. And I'm just going to add these just to heat these through a little bit. and then Just to warm them up then. Right. And then basically we are just going to add it to the uh, skillet here. I won't when, I, when I try to make potatoes at home, they never turn out as good as they do Like when you get them in a restaurant. Is there a secret? Well, the secret might be the uh, the fryer. The deep Actually, fryer. Yeah, yeah. The, the deep fryer might be the secret because you can't that, just cook them in a skillet and well, get the, the same Well, the nice taste. thing about the fryer is, you know, it cooks everything evenly, and all the potatoes are going to brown off at pretty much the same rate. Whereas when you're frying them, as much as attention as you turn, as you put on them, you know, you're always going to have some that don't. Yeah, cook hash the browns same is way. something that's just Had, yeah, I don't even try things. to attempt. Also, a flat top works pretty nicely, which we have, which is a nice like flat yes, cooking service yep. that makes this uh, whole process a little bit easier. So. I'm getting here. It's, as you can see, everything's starting to cook down a little bit, and then we're just going to add to the skillet, top okay. a little bit of provolone cheese. And we also added, yeah, some spinach in there, right? Yep, just I to just wilt added it. the spinach just to wilt it at the very end. Okay. This is pretty, oh, making a mess here. This is no different than at the restaurant. Everyone will tell you that I work with. That well, we're under a mess. time crunch here, so that's yes, fine. that's right. So I'm just going to melt Ooh, that off. that looks delicious. Melt off a little bit of provolone here, and we've top it with a little bit of sour cream, and... And you just put it in the oven? Uh, I'm just, I've got the broiler up there. I'm just going to try to melt the cheese real quick. Okay. Then, so we have less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. All right. I'll pull it. Take it out in one second. But basically, as you can see, that's the whole process involved. And once the cheese is uh, melted here, we're good to go. Okay. So I think we'll pull it out quick. Just show a quick finished product. Right. Try it later. Of course, Vic will get to try it. There you go. Smiling. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> a little bit of sour cream because, you know, well, Everything with sour right, cream is, and a little bit, especially prime dairy rib. on there. So. Okay, that looks great. We'll try that coming up. Now we're going to send things over to Matt. All right, we have Chef Tom doing a second helping of a sandwich, and it sounds delicious. Yeah, basically, I've just taken some of the same prime rib, and again, if you're not, you know, feeling the prime rib, you can substitute. You can substitute roast beef, but you know this will be. We'll also be featuring this as a special with the restaurant. A lot of people like it when it's just red like that, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to cook it. Down. Of course, I know how you prefer. I'm going to cook it a little bit more for you, but yeah, I mean, if you There's want. There's no cream in there. No, no cream in there. That's that's Guinness au jus. But if you want a medium rare, something like like this, you would just drop it in the Guinness au jus for like. A minute. Yeah, you know, not, not even, even. Maybe like seconds, like maybe 10, 15, just 10 seconds. Just dip in to get the flavor. Dip in, move it around, and then, and then basically, you know, serve it on the sandwich. So. And this is the uh, this is the I brought some fries. They're, they've seen better they've seen better days. I try to keep I, them as fresh I as possible. I felt like that this morning when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I cooked them up this morning. I wasn't sure how they were going to hold up, but uh, as basically as you can see, I've uh, got the prime rib here. I've sliced, and we're just going to let that just let that simmer in the au jus for a second. You said you like it a little more medium well, so we can kind of tell when it starts to cook off here. And then nope. I have a little bit of gravy here. We'll just top it off with, and you have a nice quick sandwich. Excellent. I was tasting the main dish. It's delicious. Oh, good. Thank you.
it's, yeah, it's a good mixture of everything, and that's, you know, I put a little more cheese on there, of course, you know. Of course, make it a little bit unhealthy, you know. <laughs> wouldn't have it any me, other right? way. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> and you can see it's starting to starting oh, yeah. to cook through a little bit. You can just tell. I mean, medium rare would I like be it. about like that. Yep. All right. Well, let me drain some of this off here. Now, this is a sandwich at, um, you have a roast, a prime rib sandwich? We have a normal roast beef uh, sandwiches on our regular menu, and we will be featuring this as a special. Yes. Okay. So. I need my friend Amelia to come in. Who knows how I Hello. like my steak? <laughs> <laughs> I've learned this. I've learned how you like these I know. things. I know. Knows. I know. Don't make lamb meat. Don't make lamb meat when you're here. No goat cheese. No goat cheese. No goat so cheese. I learned all this. You're a good guy <laughs> for it. Now look at that. And then Ooh, just top me. A little gravy. bit of demi on there. And we need some cheese then too. No cheese on this one. Surprise. Oh, see, That's one I'd of the few things. On I brought no heavy cream this week. So you're, hey. You're always you know, thinking right. about me. Now well, get married for goodness sakes. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> all right. Coming up um, on Monday, we've got a big show coming up. Gretchen making summer party favorite, dirt and worms. You ever heard of that? Do you guys sell that at the Irish? No, we don't. Eat that. <laughs> I'll have to watch. I'll have to check that out. Exactly. Check right. it out. And of course, everybody loves Ed Ranch. Well, he's going to be in here hosting on Monday. All right. Thanks so much for joining us yes, today again. Right now, the moment you all been waiting for, CW star Matt gonna get killed.